So I'm going to explain a little bit about wireless as a great target for us, and I've covered a few of these already, but I wanted to get a little bit deeper. And then I'll show why administrators don't really protect it very well beyond the lack of knowledge and understanding. Wireless is a great target for us, not just because it's getting widely deployed and because the signal goes quite a ways, but also because that signal travels, we can sniff and attack and deny service from across the street, from across the city, from wherever we can really get signal and, and transmit signal. Lots of opportunity for us to do this uh, type of attack, this sniffing, this penetration testing, this denial of service, any of these attacks can be accomplished from a fairly decent distance. So we're not going to get caught as easily. We don't like going to jail, and certainly this is one way to avoid going to jail. And it may seem a little silly for me to say this, but in my experience, there's a lot of administrators out there that deploy wireless with the default settings. And that sounds crazy until you've seen it a few million times, and then you realize the default password for an access point is usually the password that's in place. The default SSID or the default channel or the default crypto usually is the stuff that's still in place when it's deployed. Mostly because administrators don't give it a lot of thought. Very few administrators do wireless site surveys, although they should. Very few administrators focus beams and use directional antennas that keep the signal inside the building. They should, but they don't, which means the signals leak out to us as an attacker, and potentially we have the ability to use these default settings, look up the default password, identify the MAC, identify all the information, and actually uh, attack the network in a very, very simple, straightforward, and quick way. That allows us to bring our strength against weakness, our strength of knowledge of wireless and understanding of the, of the flaws in administration, the weakness is the administrator's lack of understanding and lack of a thorough security approach to wireless. As well, there are some attacks that require a large amount of volume to go over wireless for us to appropriately uh, mount an attack. So we have to sniff gigabytes and gigabytes and gigabytes of data in order to build up enough information to do a crack, like a brute force attack against the wireless network. Well, as more and more authentic data goes across the wireless network, that's so much more data that we can capture, that we can examine, and that we can use in our brute force attack. So actually, it works in reverse. The administrators put more and more stuff on the wireless, thinking that it's maybe more secure or simply easier. For an attacker, that's a benefit. That's a bonus. We're just getting our attacks made that much easier by bad administration or bad planning. So why don't administrators protect wireless networking very well. Well, most of them don't really know about wireless security at all. They're, they don't have a lot of training. They don't have a lot of skill in it. They don't go to four-week classes on wireless networking in general, let alone wireless security. Uh, so they may have a one hour, two hours of training on it from a vendor. Um, but that's really most of it. In fact, many administrators don't even have that much. That's great for an ethical hacker because that ignorance allows us to uh, mount an attack based on their, their knowledge gaps. And wireless security is also kind of a pain to implement it at all, certainly in a way that makes users happy and, and makes things easy. So for example, if users have to enroll for certificates and have to actually connect to the network and run scripts or do some kind of group policy work in order to get their devices on the wireless network, well, first of all, that sets a fairly high bar for which clients can and cannot connect to wireless, which is almost defeating the purpose of having wireless. Second of all, many users just don't have the technical wherewithal to do that kind of work, so they're not going to. So the administrator is left in a tough spot. Do I bounce the users that can't connect, which could cause political ramifications, could cause usability, could cause lack of, of capability manipulation, or does the administrator bounce on the side of usability and either weaken or remove the security on their wireless networks? Interestingly enough, if you're taking this course, you probably think, well, of course, they bounce on the side of higher security, and then if users don't know how to deal with it, they should get off or they should ask. It's almost always the opposite. 
typically speaking, administrators will weaken or eliminate wireless network security when necessary. I worked with a client not very long ago who literally stopped in the middle of a wireless security configuration project and backed everything out to open wireless networking because they didn't know how to make the clients work properly. So rather than shutting off the wireless or rather than configuring the clients, they literally just made the wireless network open. Everyone can associate, everyone can actually transmit and receive all data. That could be a problem, but not for us because we're ethical hackers and frankly, we like that. And finally, there's a lot of standards that go into wireless network security. Wi-Fi security is actually quite a complex little thing and the number of standards, the complexity of the standards and how they interact makes it so that even an administrator that has training and does focus on this and does concentrate in this area does have a bit of a challenging time getting this stuff fully understood so that they can properly analyze it, deploy it, and then operate it. And usually the operate is the difficult part because many administrators can figure out how to, how to plan it out and how to deploy it. But when things break, one of the first bits that goes is security. If something doesn't work, if, if users can't access, in a wireless scenario, many times the first thing that goes is security. Turn that off, let's see if it works now. You, oh, your television can't connect, or your new monitor can't connect, or your printer can't connect, we'll shut off wireless security. And maybe it, the intention is just to shut it off for a little while, just to shut it off for troubleshooting. But if it doesn't go back on, that's a major problem. Or if it goes off, even for testing or troubleshooting, while the ethical hacker is running their tests and probing, well, there we go. We're into the network, and we're probably never going to be gotten back out of the network.